What's up, America? Neil here from Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we are going to continue part two of our Why You Should Not Off Body Carry video series. So this will be, uh, again, the, the part two. I wasn't planning originally to do part two, but there was uh, a lot of the same question that came up, which was if Kim carried concealed, would she be able to shoot me? Uh, unlike she, she was unable to do with her off body carrying. If you haven't seen the first video, watch that first, otherwise, this probably won't make as much sense to you. So today that's what we're going to look at. We're going to run the same scenario, same test, but this time Kim is going to carry on body the proper way uh, with her concealed garment. So this is what you're going to typically wear underneath. The only thing you're going to wear on top is like a looser shirt, which we're going to show in a second. But one of the questions that always came up as well was what if you wore uh, your gun in your yoga pants, which obviously these are not, uh, those aren't special yoga pants, they're regular pants made of whatever, fairy dust and... Uh, unicorn hair or whatever. So you're wearing denim jeans, which is even heavier right now. So I'm going to move around here. So what I want you to do is just go ahead and grab your gun like you normally would. Pull it out. Oh, what happened there? The whole holster the came out. The whole holster <laughs> came out. So that again, with even with, uh, with denim jeans on, which is much stronger than the actual fairy dust uh, yoga pants, Obviously that would be even worse. So that is never going to work without some type of belt or something that actually keeps this holster attached to your clothing, right? That's right. So we answered that one. So the first exercise can be just like the one yesterday, 21 feet away. I'm going to give Kim the, uh, the go ahead. I'm going to say go. And she's going to turn around and let's going to see what happened. As yesterday you saw, even with the uh, 21 feet, 7 yard notice, not a chance. So let's see if this changes. Go. There it was. We did it two times just to make double certain because it was, uh, what do you think? Was it close? No, I would have got you. You would have lit me up and dropped that mag and then some. So two times in a row, there's no way I'm going to beat uh, at 21 feet. Never going to happen. So the next one we're going to do is just like the last one we did, uh, or the next one we did in the previous video. Uh, you're going to see it from my angle, same distance, so you can see what I see as this occurs. Go. <laughs> All right, and then the last exercise here, this is going to be the most realistic of them all, where Kim is going to be walking, simulating, you know, you're going to your car or whatever. I'm following behind. Again, no one's going to start running as soon as someone walks behind them. I think we've covered that one. It's going to be realistic. But at some point, I'm going to hit the gas, and I'm going to try to catch up to her. And, of course, once I do that, they're going to try to do your job. That's right. Okay? Let's see what happens. One more time. I actually thought I'd be closer. <laughs> so I'll admit, I thought in the last one, I thought I was going to get a lot closer. I'll be honest. I really did. I was just that fast. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. I thought you were going to get more of a defensive position and have to shoot from there, but uh, I mean, I, ha I didn't have, the I wasn't 21 feet. I was only. I don't know, 10 feet maybe, when uh, she started walking, I started walking, and I took off. And as soon as she heard something, turned around. So we did it several times off camera too, there's no way. So, uh, what did you think about that? That was much more comforting. I feel like I could handle the situation better than having it off my body, and I can't get to it very quickly, and I felt much safer, and like I could handle yeah. the situation much better. I'm going to try, I'm, I'm no camera editing guru, as you guys know. I'm going to see if I can splice some of that other footage from the first video into this one. Maybe kind of do a, like a comparison in one clip. Yeah. And it's not my, I do pew, 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 you know, it's more <laughs> my thing. Uh, but we'll see. But I mean, it's, it's dramatic. The differences are absolutely dramatic. They should uh, drive home the point. Concealed carry on your body, even under concealment. By the way, do your little twirl. No one's going to know you have a gun on you. Obviously very effective in a variety of scenarios there. Uh, off body. All right, so now we are gonna do this live fire. No, I'm just kidding. So we're gonna push the limits on this next one. I'm gonna do one where I, I'm just gonna go hands on. I'm gonna grab Kim, like I'm gonna drag her into a alley or a car or something. That's how we met anyway. 
and <laughs> and we're, we're gonna see what happens. So. Hey, come on, come on with me. All right, Kim, we did all the, the field tests and that one was uh, actually hands-on there. So what'd you think about that experience, by the way? I felt much more confident this time around having my weapon on me instead of having it in a, you know, off-carry bag. So I felt like even if you were actually on me, I still had time to get it out because you didn't know it was there, only I know it's there. We have the defense series we're working on now with Agent L. I'll be joining in to get a woman's perspective on um, defending yourself with a firearm. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe to our channel and find us on Facebook. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.